You're excited! It's snowing on your island and you've been told by Isabel to make your own snowboys, only to find yourself doing this time and time again. And no doubt you've actually turned to YouTube to try and find some way to get the perfect snowboy. And you would have stumbled across the 10 tile method which shrinks your snowball to make it the perfect snowboy. This is a result of me trying it. And believe me, I've tried. So I'm going to show you a way of stop doing this to start doing this. Hey YouTube, it's Alexa Giovanni here and welcome back to my channel. Let's get rolling, see what I did there, onto how to build more perfect snowboys. And if you haven't built a single one yet, you may not realize that they actually give you a snow frozen recipe. And for four days, they will give you a large snowflake, generally what you need for these crafts as well. Let's have a look at the DIY recipes that I've got so far and show you which ones I've gathered. Not only will these look great on your snowfield island, but you can actually tint them using the customization as well. And you also get the benefit of having Nook Mile achievements unlocked, together with the fact that you collect your Nook Mile points. Having said that though, I don't know what I'm going to do with 353,000 Nook Mile points. Let's leave today's perfect snowboy, and let's head to yesterday's one. Wave to rolled on the way through. For each day, until they melt away, they will give you one large snowflake, which is four in total from the time that they're born. I must admit, it's a little bit sad seeing them melt away, but they do tend to keep upbeat on it. Here's just a few that I've encountered whilst making these snowboys. And this one in particular, being fairly deep. Now the perfect snowboy doesn't have to be exactly the same size every single time. All it means is that the proportion between the head and the body needs to be consistent, which is said to be around about 90%. So whatever the size of the body is, the head should be about 90% of its size. Now unlike the Mii's from back in the Wii days, your character can't change in size, it's always consistent regardless of your gender or type. So I found that using your body parts is actually the easiest way to measure against your snowboy. And you'll see with this one, I roll it away before I roll it back into the body, which is why I had it so close, but not perfect. And that's why I kind of didn't like this 10 tile technique, because it's kind of counterintuitive. You have to make a snowball really big just to reduce it, running it over tiles and hope that it works. I just kept pushing them over a cliff, or just plain failing. And that's aside from the fact that you have to launch Island Designer to go and create these tiles and then clean up after yourself. Sure, there is merit to try and reduce your size by running it over paths. That's useful. So do keep that technique in the back of your mind if you do need to reduce the size of your snowball. Well, let me show you the way that I find it a little bit easier to make that perfect snowboy. So the rule of thumb I tend to use is line up the bigger part of the body with the bottom of the face or the chin and the head is to be up to your armpits. And you can use different ways when it comes to measuring this size. You can also use a shovel and I'll show you how to do that right now. Pay close attention to the height of the shovel and you'll see that it's actually somewhat in line with the jawline there. So it sort of protrudes over the side of you so it does give you a good indication to the level that you've got there. Again, it's the same as what you use for the chin except it's a little bit easier to measure against. And when it comes to the head side of things, that's where you use your hand position on the shovel as well to again find that line. And now that they're lined up, sorry, bad pun, Push them together to create your perfect snowboy. You can make larger snowboys as well. So note in this one, this is lining up with my eye level. So I'll just push the head so that it comes up to a particular point. Now bear with me as heads will roll. There I go again. With the bigger body, the head will come up to your chin in this case. So let's give this a push and see what we get. Perfecto! Now the true challenge is to get snowboys side by side, day after day. 
unlike its bigger brother over here, I'm going to create a regular size snowboy. So I'm lining up the body up until my chin and the head up until my armpits. So I'm going to finesse with this one just that little bit. Actually, I'm really not. I'm just accidentally pushing it to try and get a line for you. So let's give this a push and... Hi, snowboy. Meet your big brother. Let me show you now the recipes or the output of the recipes that you can get for when collecting these particular snowboy recipes. So I've used the ice wand here to change the outfit. So this is just one of a few that I've got. Let's go back to that one. And you can see these are all the recipes that can be built, that can be stored outside. So you've got your pillars there, you've got your frozen arch, partition, your bed, which strangely is comfy. And we've got a partition which can be used there. We've also got a tree, this particular fake snowman, which is a little bit more traditional with the three balls, and a tree, chair, frozen treats, as well as the table. And not to forget the bear as well, and a couple of pillars. So they can be colorized and personalized, so you can change them as you want. But these, some of these do look really cool. Just another pun for you guys. And here's yet another way of how to create the perfect snowboy. You might know it takes 13 kicks to get the snowball to a size that's rollable. And once you get to that particular point, you do just count the number of squares that it can roll over to before it gets to a certain size. So here you'll see that I'm pushing it and I'm using the flowers next to it or you can use any other object on your island to figure out exactly how many squares they are all you have to do is roll the first ball which will become the body 30 squares so you'll see here that i'm keeping count of each and every square that i roll past a flower or an object and once i roll it into position you just sort of play with your where you want it to be so in this case i'm trying to get it as close to my other snowboys here and you get it to 30 or as close to 30 as possible but try to keep that ratio the same so now I'm onto my second ball which will become the head and you need to get that to about 23 so it's that sort of ratio and give or take one or two rolls so that at least it's consistent should give you that perfect snowboy so I'm at 16 here looking to get it up to 23 so get creative with how you roll it around to get to that number but as soon as you roll it up to that particular point all that's left is that last push to get it onto Mr. Perfect Snowboy. Now don't fret if you don't get that perfect snowboy each and every time or you're getting that close that you're running out of time for winter, you can quit the game and restart again to spawn new balls and start again. Now if you are sharing the island with other humans in your family or friends, you can find yourself being in a bit of a fight as to who is the first person to create the snowboy for that day. Now you can't create a second snowboy for a certain day, but you can make the most of someone else creating the perfect snowboy on their behalf. So if someone else has created the perfect snowboy, in this case, my family is reaping the benefits because they just speak to the newly born snowman and they actually get a frozen recipe. Whilst they don't get a large snowflake each and every day as you would as the creator, you do at least build this repertoire of different frozen DIYs. And I've done this for each family member in my family. So you can see that each one does get their own recipe and I've done it for two to three days. So you'll see every time I bring up the DIY recipe list, you'll see that there's two or three new recipes that they've got to use. And they don't know that I've done this. So hopefully that's a pleasant surprise. So there you go, guys, some frozen recipes for you. Well, that brings this video to a close. Whether it's snowing on your island yet or not, I'd hope that it prepares you better for when it is your time to create these snowboys. If you've enjoyed this video, like the snowballs, push that like button, comment below and let me know have you unlocked each and every one of those frozen DIYs? And have you managed to complete that snow maestro challenge of 20 perfect snowboys? Well, this is Alexi Giovanni signing off. Until next time, stay chill.